Hey boys, it's Harm Nun. Today we're going to be going over the top 10 military vehicles in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now this list is going to include every single type of military vehicle, that being land, sea, and air. So it should be pretty interesting. We've had some changes since the last time I made one of these videos, so I'm very excited to get into it. Let's go ahead and start off with number 10. At number 10, I have placed the Chernabog. Now the Chernabog has recently had a price decrease down to $1,500,000. If you want to purchase this thing, you are going to need a facility as well in order to buy it. But the Chernabog is a pretty awesome military vehicle. The Chernabog has the longest lock-on distance of anything with lock-on missiles in the entire game. So it's pretty crazy. I'm not kidding when I say this thing is long range. You can pretty much get somebody locked onto from one end of the airport runway all the way down to the other end of the airport runway, which is crazy. The Chernabog can be operated as a solo player or a duo. It is probably better as a duo, but you can still do it as a solo. You just have to raise up the supports on the bottom of the vehicle, hop out and get into the back. And as you guys can see by the gameplay in the background here, you can spam fire the Chernabog's rockets. It shoots five at a time in very rapid succession, making it very good for taking down enemy aircraft. The tracking on these missiles is also some of the best in the entire game, so if you get five of them shot after you really fast, especially at a longer range, you're probably gonna die to the Chernabog. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have any sort of armor whatsoever, so you do have to be wary of this, but I thought seeing as the price decreased down to one and a half million had happened, I should probably include it on the list. So there you go. That's it for number 10, on to number nine. Next up, we have the HVY Menacer coming in at just under $1.8 million. Now the HVY Menacer, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the greatest sort of transport military vehicle that's armed in Grand Theft Auto Online, but it is kind of useful. It has front-mounted driver-operated machine guns, which are similar to the Night Shark, I believe, and I don't think that they do very much damage. However, it does have the top mounted machine gun that can be operated by another player. So if you have a second person to play with, they can operate that top mounted turret and it deals out a pretty good amount of damage. Now, the only real issue that I have with the HVY Menacer is that it doesn't have very much ground clearance. It's fast enough and everything like that, but off-road, unfortunately, it's just not the greatest vehicle ever. With that being said, it definitely could be worse, but for $1.8 million, you can probably get some better vehicles. We're going to talk about it more as we get into the list. It also has a proximity mine dropper, which I should also mention. At number eight, we have the Mammoth Avenger coming in at $3.5 million. Now, the Mammoth Avenger is a very good military vehicle in Grand Theft Auto Online. It basically acts as an aerial version of the mobile operations center, and it's one of the fastest aircraft in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. You and several other players can get into the Avenger and travel around the map very, very quickly. And it's also got vertical takeoff and landing mode, which is pretty awesome. You can equip this thing with a vehicle workshop as well as a weapon workshop and three gun stations. Now, this is where the Avenger gets interesting because if you go into the interaction menu, you can activate the autopilot mode for the Avenger, meaning that it will sit in the air no matter what you do. As you can see, I can even jump out of this thing. And if I'm on the ground, I will get absolutely destroyed by the underside mounted turrets that are on the Avenger. You can use this very effectively to troll people in Grand Theft Auto Online, especially in public sessions. If somebody's being a dick to you and you need to uh, you need to get your lick back, you can simply put your Avenger into autopilot mode above them, very far away by the way. The turrets have insane range and you can just nuke them with the turrets repeatedly and the Avenger does have a pretty decent amount of armor, although it is glitched, so sometimes it can take more, sometimes it can take less, but generally, it is pretty good for an aircraft. So that's it for the Avenger. Let's move on to number seven. At number seven, we have a personal favorite of mine. This is the HVY Insurgent Pickup Custom, and it's gonna run you just under $2 million, about $2,000 less than $2 million. And the Insurgent Pickup Custom is a highly effective vehicle in Grand Theft Auto Online. I think it's like the best in class of what it does. It's pretty fast. It tops out at just under 100 miles per hour, so that is pretty nice. It can also seat nine players, which is insane. Now, similar to the HVR Menacer, it does have a top-mounted machine gun. You can swap this out to be either a minigun or a 50 cal by default. It also has a proximity mine dropper behind it, and depending on the armor level that you put on the Insurgent Pickup Custom, you can shoot out of it as well. 
I have heavy armor on mine, which makes a bigger shroud for the guy on top using the gun. However, if I didn't have heavy armor, I could actually shoot my weapons out of this thing. I could also throw sticky bombs out of it, everything like that. So it's a very, very effective vehicle. It also has pretty good armor. It can take 27 homing missiles from an oppressor Mark II and about eight to 10 RPGs, depending on where it gets hit. So it's very, very good. Overall, for about $2 million, the Insurgent Pickup Custom is one of the best armored military vehicles you can buy in Grand Theft Auto Online. So pick this thing up if you guys are interested. At number six, we have the Bravado Half Track coming in at $1.7 million on the low end, up to $2,250,000 on the high end. This is another vehicle that's kind of similar to the Insurgent Pickup Custom. It actually has the exact same amount of armor, can take 27 homing missiles and about eight to 10 RPGs, depending on where it gets hit. However, the half track is a very interesting vehicle because armor wise this thing is a little bit different. A lot of people don't seem to know this but the Bravado half track's front windshield is 100% bulletproof. You cannot get killed through it, it doesn't matter what gun you use. The only way to kill somebody through the front windshield of this thing is by shooting it with well 8 to 10 RPGs and blowing the vehicle up with them inside. Now you can shoot through the side windows I should say. So that is pretty much the only way to get killed in the cab of this thing short of blowing up the entire vehicle. The half track also has a flat cannon mounted in the back of it, making this thing a three-seater. Now, depending on bunker research and what you have unlocked in there, you can also equip this with a quad cannon instead of just a dual cannon. The quad cannon is a little bit more effective, but the dual cannon, as you guys can see, is still highly effective and the range on it is absolutely crazy. Now, unfortunately, the half track is pretty slow. Obviously, you might assume that. So that's its one drawback. It's kind of like it's kind of like the turtle, you know? It's a, it's a very armored vehicle, but it's very, very slow. It also has a proximity mine dropper. On it as well, just in case you guys were wondering. At number five, we have the TM02 Kanjali coming in at $2.9 million, all the way up to $3.8 million, depending on if you have the trade price or not. The Kanjali is, well, a tank, obviously. It's it's a tank, no doubt about it. It's essentially the better version of the Rhino tank that was in Grand Theft Auto Online originally. Uh, that tank will get absolutely minced by a Kanjali. The Kanjali can take about eight RPGs and eight homing missiles as well. Um, it's one of those vehicles that has the exact same amount of armor for RPGs as well as homing missiles. So the armor isn't really too special. Eight RPGs is decent, but eight homing missiles really is not decent, especially with Oppressor Mark IIs in the game. Also, as you would probably assume, it's not that fast. Uh, the Kanjali is, it's, it's just not that quick. However, it is highly effective against NPCs and players alike. It can also be equipped with a railgun turret, which will allow it to be charged and have extra range. So that is pretty cool. It also has a proximity mine dropper. If you have a second person in the vehicle, they can operate the top mounted machine gun that you guys see on the turret of the Kanjali. And if you have a third and fourth player, they can operate the side mounted grenade launchers that are also on the turret of the Kanjali. So it's definitely a pretty good vehicle in Grand Theft Auto Online. Definitely one that I would recommend picking up for sure. Certainly a very good military vehicle. At number four, we have the P996 laser coming in at $6.5 million. Or of course you can just steal it from the military base. Now, if you have a hangar at the military base, it makes this a lot easier because you can get all the way into the base for free, get in the jet and just take off and fly away. And you pretty much will have no repercussions for it unless you do something else. But generally, you're going to get this thing for pretty much free. The laser is a highly maneuverable fighter jet in Grand Theft Auto Online. The only reason that I put it here over the Hydra is just because of the ease of access. The Hydra will cost you $3 million and that is the only way to get that jet. The laser is highly maneuverable. It has that insane auto cannon on the front of it that shoots the explosive rounds. It'll destroy pretty much anything in a super quick amount of time. If you do decide to purchase this thing for six and a half million dollars, you can change the color of it. So I should mention that, but that's literally all you can do for buying it. So I would not really recommend buying it, but definitely go and steal one from the military base for sure. It also has homing missiles and non-homing missiles as well. At number three, we have the FH-1 Hunter coming in at $3.1 million, all the way up to $4.1 million, depending on if you've done the air freight cargo missions to unlock the trade price. The FH-1 Hunter is the best armed heli in the entire game as far as the most weaponry um, on a single vehicle in the helicopters category. It's crazy. It's also one of the fastest helicopters in the entire game. The pilot gets access to homing missiles as well as a seven missile barrage. Both of these are pretty highly effective, although the barrage is not super good against ground targets or vehicles really. Uh, I don't, I'm not really sure what the, what the deal is with that. I think that the missiles have a relatively small explosive radius, so that is a little unfortunate, but it does have fully spammable homing missiles. So if you're chasing a player, just spam the homing missiles and you'll 
probably get them eventually for sure. So, but the real reason the FH-100 is here is not because of the pilot weapons, but because of the co-pilot weapon. The co-pilot gets access to the bottom mounted grenade launching auto cannon that is on the FH-100. This thing will one shot players, it will one shot most cars unless they're armored of course, at an extreme range. So this is a highly effective weapon in GTA, um, I've seen a lot of people cry about this thing. The hunter also has a bomb bay that the pilot controls as well, which I should probably mention. And number two, we have the Kasatka Submarine coming in at $2.2 million just for the basic submarine, but you can spend up to about $9 million on this thing depending on what you put into the Kasatka. It's not very fast, but you can fast travel around the map with it, which is really, really nice. It will cost you about $2,000. However, if you haven't completed a certain aspect of KO, you're going to get charged ten dollars per fast travel. So keep that in mind. Now within the Kasatka as well, you can also equip a radar and you can also equip the cruise missiles on this thing, which are pretty crazy. They have a range of about four kilometers, which means you can get about halfway into the map, depending on where you are in the water. So it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's, they're pretty effective. They're definitely pretty effective. And of course, you can land the Sparrow in the Kasatka if you purchase the Sparrow for the Kasatka. So that's pretty awesome as well. Overall, the Kasatka submarine, definitely a very cool military vehicle, maybe even the coolest military vehicle in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. And number one, of course, we have the Akula with the price increase unfortunate, but the Akula is going to cost you $3.4 million if you have the trade price now and up to $4.5 million if you do not have the trade price, which is very unfortunate. This thing got a pretty, pretty severe uh, price increase, that's for sure, but could be worse, I guess, overall. The Akula is a very good helicopter in Grand Theft Auto Online. It's a four-seater, so you and three other players can fly around in this thing. The pilot gets access to an optional four-missile barrage or homing missiles, depending on what you equip on the helicopter. You also get access to dual machine guns on the sides of the helicopter as well, and a bomb bay, which you can choose the bombs that go in said bomb bay. The co pilot gets access to the bottom mounted machine gun on the helicopter, which you can also make into a dual machine gun if you so choose. But the best part about the Akula is the stealth mode. The stealth mode allows you to disappear entirely from the mini map and the expanded map, any sort of map. The only way that people can actually see you is through the spectator mode, which is kind of crazy. So you and three other players can get around on the map completely unnoticed with this helicopter, which I think is a pretty sick ability to have. You can quickly come in and out of stealth mode as you please as well. When you're in stealth mode, all the weapons are disabled. However, you can quickly go out of it, like I said, destroy somebody and go right back into stealth mode. The only way somebody's going to see you with the Akula is by actually physically seeing you with their eyes. So this helicopter is pretty cool and it certainly is the best military vehicle in Grand Theft Auto Online. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.